Good morning from Adam's DIY universe. Cookie just looking cute there. It's always good for his videos. Okay, thank you for that, Cookie. Um, today we've got a little problem with the bottom of these fence palings. As you can see, they look, um, well, rotten. Um, come along this side, we've got the same problem here. The problem is, We've got a hedge and it's raised above the height of the fence, uh, the land, and, and it angles down into the fence. So you're getting water, soil, everything piling up against here and then rotting their way through the bottom. Now structurally, it's sound and I'm not really into uh, knocking all these things out. Um, replacing them with stuff from the store at hundreds of dollars and then um, you know taking all the old stuff to the dump, painting etc. So what I thought was I have some hardwood here it's probably not a great example because you've got a, um, a little break in it there but what I did was measured that bottom area the height of it um, and then I notched little um cut little notches with craft knife painted it the same color and what i'm going to do is mount that to the bottom of uh, the fence there so um basically we we can see what that will look like and i i think aesthetically it'll hopefully provide quite a good touch and without really having to do a, a lot of um, hard yakka as they say in New Zealand. Okay let's see how we go. Now the hardboard is in place. I've applied a piece of recycled timber along the top to cap the fence and protect it and given it a coat of paint. If you have a look down here This area has still not got the capping along the top and the bottom of the fence is rotten as you can see. So that's my next project to do. But here you can see that with limited resources and short period of time you can clean up that fence and it looks pretty much like new. If you found this video helpful, please press like and subscribe to follow along for more tips and tricks around the house, garage and garden. Thanks for watching.